This is Dalston Lane. This is an apartment building and offices and restaurants and a gym. It's a 10-storey solid CLT building, so the biggest CLT building in the world. The notion behind cross laminated timber development is about urban housing, high density urban housing. So this is a great example of how we can generate this kind of this, this urban housing that we so desperately need in London and across the UK and how we can build this from solid timber. So it really is taking this material at scale uh, in both terms of height but also in terms of volume. But interestingly, what we've done with this building is through the architecture, we've reduced the amount of timber that we use per square meter. So the one in 2008 that we finished in 2008, Murray Grove, that's nine stories and this is 10. So a story bigger, but much bigger. So this is 121 apartments, that one was 29 apartments. So we use about 20% less timber per square meter in this building than we did in Murray Grove 10 years ago. Essentially, we reduce the thickness of the timber as we go up the building, which sounds simple, but in engineering terms, is really quite complex. CLT is essentially uh, layers of softwood planks laid orthogonally to each other, uh, put together with glue and a big press, and pressed together. And they come in lengths of up to about 13 and a half meters long by about 2.95 meters wide. With the engineering, we really need to understand the, the properties of the timber that goes into the CLT. And timber, you can imagine, is a bunch of straws. Uh, so it's, a, it's very squashy in one direction, but very strong in another direction. And so we use that strength of the CLT and the cross lamination to really help us with the panels. But what that means is when you're doing the platform construction, when you're putting a wall up, putting a floor on, and then putting a wall on top, what you end up with is a lot of straws here, and they crush. And so what we did was we, we developed a connector where we, we actually took a little bit out of the timber and we put in a piece of a bit of grout in there, concrete grout, which made the, basically meant that we could avoid crushing the timber. So and avoiding crushing the timber meant we could go higher without the, the movement that is normally associated with timber buildings. Although it's made out of timber, it's, uh, the timber here is a, is a solid panel. So uh, trying to light the timber here is much like trying to light a log with a match. It's a very hard material to light, uh, so it makes it a much safer material to use. We followed the, the requirements of the Euro code and uh, it's all tested and, and certified. We know that uh, putting plasterboard on the uh, outside of the timber protects it for a certain amount of time. After that, the, the timber will char, it will burn, but it burns at a predictable rate, and there's enough structure left to support the load and to satisfy the fire requirements that we were set. So the CLT in this building comes from Austria, um, and it's all manufactured over there in Austria and put on the back of a lorry and transported across the UK. Um, it's all grown from sustainably managed forest in, in Austria and Germany. We've used in this project about four and a half thousand cubic metres of timber, which is about 2,300 trees, and there'll be 800 people in the building. So we like to think of it as sort of three trees per person. CLT buildings, when they're built with all the people and equipment in them, are about 30% lighter than equipment steel or concrete frame. This is great because it means we can, we can have, with the underground constraints that we've got, such as the tunnels, we can actually put more floors on the building. The reason that we chose CLT for Dolson Lane is because our practice believes that if we're going to build the homes that we need, solve the UK's housing crisis, we need to do it in a sustainable way. So first and foremost in any project, the reason we use timber is to reduce the amount of carbon, reduce the amount of concrete and steel that we're emitting into the atmosphere by solving the other problems we have in the world, like the lack of housing. But specifically at Dawson Lane, there were some interesting constraints. Our project has two underground railway lines directly either adjacent or under the site, one proposed, one existing. So we had all kinds of interesting challenges, like the fact that we weren't allowed to use a traditional piled foundation, or we had a, a restriction on weight imposed by the criteria for the reserved future HS2 link. So one of the prime concerns for us was to build a lightweight building as well as a sustainable building. Uh, in this project, by using timber, we achieved another 15 homes on the site. Uh, another little nibble away at London's housing crisis purely because we used a lightweight material. We couldn't have achieved that in steel or concrete. 
but also it's super important for us if we're going to build tall, dense structures in the centre of our cities to be neighbourly. Had we built the concrete frame on this building in concrete, we'd have had over 700 deliveries simply to build the frame. Uh, from the building in CLT, we've seen that that's been incredibly massively reduced. We've built with just 111 deliveries of timber, getting all those external walls for free, if you like, delivered to site. So not only can we build sustainably, not only can we build to an incredibly high quality, but we're really excited about being neighbourly too. You know, we can do it in a way that doesn't upset our neighbours and enhances the city. Some parts of our building aren't made from timber. Um, it's a sensible idea to keep wood out of the wet. So almost always CLT buildings that you'll find will have some elements of concrete at ground floor. Here, because of the construction method we had, we actually built a concrete basement too. So from basement level through ground floor to the first floor slab, we have a concrete building. But from there on up, it's an exclusively timber structure. I think we have less than three and a half tons of steel in the entire building above that first floor deck. So the staircases, including the uh, treads and the risers themselves, we have the lift cores, all floors and all the structural walls and a lot of the non-structural walls internally are entirely made from CLT without steel. In some sense, we want CLT to become normal. Uh, and normal means normal materials, things that people recognise. They recognise brick elevations, they recognise steel balconies. So to us, it's not so much that we're keen to express the aesthetic of timber, it's that we're keen to create buildings that our clients recognise, that they see as normal. And sometimes that means bricks. Other times it might mean timber, but today we have another amazing tall timber building in Dalston, recognisable to anybody who's rented a flat anywhere else. There is uh, support for timber frame construction from both the Mayor of London and uh, the Borough of Hackney and we work closely with them to uh, deliver this scheme in, in Dorsten. Um, at Regal Homes we are committed to sustainable construction, uh, delivering that through clever design and innovative construction techniques. This building is interesting and important because what it does is it demonstrates that you can build with cross-laminated timber at scale. Since we started building, and over the last 15 years or so that we've been building in cross-laminated timber, we've realised that not only is this building material sustainable, um, renewable, replenishable, but this building material also builds buildings beautifully. It builds them quickly, it builds them inexpensively, it builds them quietly, it builds them with fewer deliveries to site. So it really is, in terms of renewing our city, in terms of increasing the density of our urban environments, this is a fantastic building material to work with. I really see the use of CLT growing exponentially in the next few years. As uh, carbon taxes come to the fore, as issues surrounding climate change become increasingly important, as energy becomes more expensive, I really think that we'll be looking to timber as a replenishable uh, material, as a carbon store and as a low energy construction material. I think we should build every building. Every building over three or four storeys should be made from solid timber. We shouldn't be using concrete. Concrete's for foundations, roads and bridges. We should wean ourselves off those kinds of things, just like we've weaned ourselves off petrol. And um, are weaning ourselves off petrol, off diesel, off cigarettes, you know, and we'll have to off beef and etc.